In this episode, I'll be covering the VST instruments that I use. And for the most part, there are just three VST instruments that I tend to gravitate towards. ReFX Nexus, Steinberg's Retrolog 2, and Native Instruments FM8. I think we've got an invasion in the studio. What's up, mate? Nexus is less of a synthesizer and more of a preset library, for which you can buy Expansion packs. I use four Nexus expansion packs. Analog, Sounds of the 80s, Vintage Synths, and Guitars. I'm a pianist. I don't play the guitar. So I personally find the Nexus Guitars expansion to be particularly useful. For example, this one sound has been featured to some degree in my covers of Ivory Tower, Together in Electric Dreams, Ghostbusters, and War by Vince DiCola from the Rocky IV soundtrack. Then there's the lead guitar sounds that I've used for those big solos in the middle of tracks like Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, Danger Zone, and Hearts on Fire. It's kind of my dirty little secret and a vital tool in my 80s production arsenal. The other preset sounds from Nexus I tend to use as filler material for layering with and adding colour to sounds from Retrolog and FM8. And layering is a big part of my approach to recreating 80s music. I'll often have three, four or maybe more sounds making up a single lead part. And then I'll use EQ, level and panning controls across a group track so that they blend nicely. Now, when it comes to starting those fat analog synth sounds, my tool of choice is Steinberg's Retrolog 2, which comes bundled with Cubase Pro. I love this synth. It's not too complicated, and yet it's surprisingly powerful. I use it for those Moog style bass sounds that you'll hear in Thriller. <laughs> and synth leads that you'll hear in Van Halen's Jump or New Song by Howard Jones. Let me just show you how quickly you can create that kind of sound with a simple two oscillator patch. Turn on the first oscillator, turn it to Sawtooth, turn on the second oscillator, turn that to Sawtooth, detune it just a cheeky bit, and then turn on Glide. Of course, I'd add some reverb and compression, but I'll be going over my approach to that in another video. The third VST instrument I use is FM8 by Native Instruments. And this is a Yamaha DX7 emulator. And that instrument was famous for those glassy piano sounds in so many 80s ballads. Now that's something I haven't done yet. So, do let me know in the comments if you'd like me to have a go at a Whitney Houston song or maybe a Chicago number. I have used FM8 for those punchy bass sounds in Danger Zone, Take On Me. And it's also great for those crystalline bell type sounds. And a good example of that is Wham's Last Christmas. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm usually layering sounds from Retrolog and FM8 with sounds from Nexus. For example, this bass line in Take On Me is a blend of a preset in FM8 called Bass Guitar 1, which sounds like this. And another preset from Nexus, which sounds like this. But of course, there's much more to this game than picking, creating, or layering good sounds. There's the art of mixing and mastering with EQ, reverb, compression, saturators, exciters, limiters, and anything else you can shake a stick at. These are all things that I'm going to be talking about in a future episode. So if you want to learn more about that, why not subscribe if you haven't already? If you want to know how I break down tracks by ear, you might want to check this video out here. And if you found this video interesting or useful, please leave me a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Those are not for you. No.
Thought so. Here you go in. See you later.